we're going to walk through the process for live streaming to YouTube using a webcam. So the first thing you want to do is navigate to youtube.com. Your page will look a little different based on your viewing history. And then in the upper right hand corner, you're going to go and make sure that you are logged into the Google account that you want to use to originate your stream. It should be the same as your channel. Uh, if you manage multiple channels, you would just go under switch account down here. You would choose amongst the accounts that you manage. If you don't see your login there, you can just click add account and this will be your Google login, your Google address and your, your Google email address and your Google email uh, password. All right. So once you're in there, um, you can jump right to create a video and upload a video is for things that you have recorded previously. Go live is what we're going to do because we want to go live with our uh, webcam. Now you've got options over here. Stream is if you have exterior hardware, like an exterior uh, encoder or um, dedicated piece of equipment. We're going to use webcam. So if you're not already there, click on the webcam. And then we've got some options here for the webcam information. So we're just gonna call this webcam test two. And uh, if this is going to be something that you want discoverable on the internet, you can make it public. If you want anyone to be able to see it, but only if you share the link, you would use unlisted. So they wouldn't be able to search for your event and find it in the search field uh, if you use unlisted. But anybody with the link that you, you know, perhaps you send out an email or a text alert or something like that on social media, this would be the way that people can uh, find the stream. They, they need you to originate. Uh, and share that, or you can make it private. That means not only would they need the link, but they would also need a password that you would send to them. So for the sake of our test today, uh, we're going to go with unlisted because I don't need people to necessarily just discover this little test that we're doing. And um, you can schedule a time. So if you know that you have an event that you want to go up at you know 9 a.m. on Tuesday on Wednesday, so you can go in and say, okay, here's Wednesday, and I will choose to make it at 9 a.m. So then this won't go live until that time, all right? But for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to go live right now, so we don't need that option. Uh, YouTube has added some new things because they find that people are targeting kids and they feel that uh, that you should be on the hook for any revenue that's generated if you're going for kids. Um, so if you are specifically marketing to kids you're doing, um, then you would check that. But for most people, you're going to say, no, this is not for kids. Okay, then you go under the more options tab. So this is only relevant if you have uh, multiple webcam sources. Uh, so I do, I've got several different cameras that I can choose. Um, it's because I have a dual monitor rig. I've also got some software cameras. So uh, in my case, I'm going to choose, uh, this is my one camera. So you can kind of see me in the background there. Uh, just to give you a sense, I can choose one of my other cameras. And although it's blocked, you can see that it's a slightly different you can should have some kind of sense that it's different uh, camera. You can see I'm I'm not facing forward now. That camera is to the side of me. I'm going to go back to my main camera, and there you go. There you can see I'm looking at you. All right, and then you're going to choose your audio device. Um, now, for most of you, you would choose uh, the audio that goes with the camera that you're using. Um, but in a more sophisticated setup, setup, you might have like an external microphone plugged into your laptop. Um, in my case, I have Bluetooth headphones on. So that's what I am using here. These, these beat slayers are what I've nicknamed these headphones that I'm wearing. So these are headphones and a microphone. Um, but you can see you could choose the internal microphone for your laptop. This is the audio that goes with so you display audio that goes with my display camera. So those sort of things go together. 
And then you may have external audio devices, you know, so whatever it is, and this is going to vary depending on the system that you actually have. Um, so I'm going to continue to use the headphones. So here you can see I'm actually using my internal camera that is internal to my monitor, but I'm using the microphone that comes with my headphones so that I get better audio. Um, then under advanced settings, you can choose whether or not to allow chat, uh, depending on your event. You know, you may want to, if it's a more formal event, you don't necessarily want community input. Um, there can be some knuckleheads out there, so maybe you don't want to invite them to have a live chat going along with your stream. You can just turn that off, and now you're presenting. People can digest your live stream, but you're not opening yourself up to um, the internet and the live dynamic um, you know so maybe for something like a like a, a lecture or a church service or something like that, maybe you don't want to allow chat this is different than the comments section that appears below the video so comments are turned on and off elsewhere this is the chat so your video would appear on one side of your screen and the chat would run down the side of it so it's more of a live chat um, so for the sake of what we're doing, we're going to turn off allow chat and that's under the settings. So once that's all set the way you like it, you're going to click next, do a thumbnail. All right. So that is going to be that before your stream starts, that's what's going to sit there. Um, you can refine your point. I can only change the title. Uh, so your category and whether or not you wanted it private or public or unlisted was done earlier. You could click share. That gives you the link that you will be able to copy and send out in an email or a text announcement. Um, you can also use that to embed the live stream onto your web page. And then ultimately you click go live and it'll count you in. And now we're live. So, um, so this is this is live on YouTube as we speak. Um, you can see that the live is running. Um, nobody is going to discover this, but uh, because it's unlisted and I haven't circulated it around anywhere. Um, but that's that's it for a webcam setup. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to end the stream. All right. Now you have some options. Um, this, uh, by default, will archive your stream. So you have an option to kind of trim the heads and tails. Um, you can essentially mark your, your in points and your out points. You can trim it. And then, yeah. yes, I like it. Save as. And then for your archive, you have an option of, do you want your archive to be public, unlisted or private, just as your live stream was. So in our case, I'm going to leave mine as unlisted. I'm going to save that as a new clip, video saved, and then go to the video. Manage our stream. If we go back to youtube.com and then go back to our account, go back into YouTube Studio. And if we look under the videos tab, we'll see that our archive recording has been added to our listing of past events. And then we can go in and we can change our title or we can change this to be public or we can schedule a time. We can put up a graphic if we wanted to um, save something in there as like an end slate or something like that. Um, you know, maybe like a, a splash page that directs people to uh, a website. Um, we have the link that we can share again, can share again. And then we can also go in and see some of the background analytics. We can see who's been watching, how long have they been watching, uh, some of the demographic information about uh, the people who've been watching. If we wanna make additional changes, additional edits, we have an online editor that allows us to kind of cut out so many gaps or uh, mistakes or things like that. And we can also administer the comments. 
um, so we can see what people are, are saying. If we find any objectionable content or anything like that, we can edit those contents out. We can remove them. Um, so we have the ability to curate things. And then ultimately, um, it's, it, YouTube will generate subtitles automatically. Um, and this is really helpful, it's really helpful in, in the sense of uh, making our videos more accessible to a wider audience. Um, and you will have the ability to actually um, edit those subtitles. You need to use the classic creator for that, um, the Creator Studio Classic feature that allows you to actually edit the subtitles and add uh, if, if you had someone who manually transcribed you could actually add in those transcriptions here underneath your video um, you can just type it in type it in uh, as the video goes and it will sync everything up so the text that's here will sync up and that's nice because then you'll end up with captioning underneath the videos which might help some of your viewers